Meet Mo Michelle. Mo is a 23-year-old conservation intern at the Manu Learning Center, located in the Peruvian Amazon. She's also the unwilling host to a botfly larva. This stubborn parasite has been burrowed into her arm for nearly two weeks, but today, her little bot will be getting the boot. Here in the tropics, bot fly eggs are delivered to their host by the unwitting mosquito. This is a most wonderful evolutionary adaption, as the mosquito is a much stealthier insect than the adult bot fly is. Once hatched, the tiny larvae departs from its carrier and embeds itself into its host's flesh. Remarkably, it has even evolved anal hooks to ensure that it stays firmly rooted into its new residence. But before long, the botfly larvae has grown large enough that any movement makes its host rather uncomfortable. And this human host is ready for her unwelcome guest to pack its bags. The first step in a botfly removal is suffocation. Since the larvae breathes through a respiratory spiracle that pokes out through the host's skin, it is critical that this opening is completely covered. Next, a squeezer and a tweezer must be called upon to assist in the task. If the botfly larvae is not yet dead, it will simply retract its breathing tube and then disappear back into its burrow. So it takes a strong pair of hands to maintain the botfly in its position near the skin surface and another to pull it out at just the right moment. However, Moe's little bot resists its eviction from her arm with incredible resolve. So the botfly lives to spend another night in its fleshy little burrow and its host must play the waiting game. The next day, while in a staff meeting, Mo discovers her botfly coming up for air. And with a ready squeeze and tweeze, it was out. Just like that. Now the botfly larvae has been successfully extracted, the wound it has left behind must be cleaned thoroughly in order to avoid any infection. Finally free of her pesky parasite, Mo can now rest easy and put her botfly larvae to rest in the MLC Museum collection. Exactly. I'm, I'm going to be sad to see him go. Um, oh, more, look at that. Oh, no, you're fine, Jane.